Hey guys, it's Mo from DataWisp. We've just launched Wispy, our brand new AI powered data assistant. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how anyone, regardless of their technical level, can use DataWisp to analyze their data and start making better, more informed business decisions. Let's take a look. Head over to datawisp.io and click Try Now to start with a free trial account. Once you're in, you'll see something like this. This is Wispy, our brand new data assistant. Click here to get started. First thing you want to do is import a data source. Uh, so I'm going to grab one of the sample data sets that we have. This is all the data that I've imported. But um, for this example, we're going to use a uh, data set of uh, grocery sales. Once you've chosen the data that you want to work with, uh, Wispy will actually suggest some questions that you can ask about that data, or you can type in your own question. Um, so here I'm going to say, which branch has the highest sales revenue? That's the question I want to ask. I'm going to click Get Answer. So Wispy takes a second to see if it has everything it needs. Uh, in this case, it needs both data sets, one with the demographic and one with the sales data. Uh, and then once it's done that, it'll start working on your request. So here you can see it's created a new sheet. And it's starting to do the math that is required to answer the question. At every step, um, DataWisp will tell you what it's doing uh, with little lines here under each block. Um, and so the first thing it's doing is joining these data sets. And then it's done. Uh, so you can see here that branch C is the one with the highest total sales volume. Um, the good thing about DataWisp is that with AI, sometimes you get exactly what you ask for. And we asked here for the highest. But in a practical example, you'd want to see maybe the top three or so. And so you can edit this uh, yourself just by clicking here in the, uh, in the order block and changing this one to a three. And now we can see what the total sales are for all three branches. Let's try a different example. So I'm going to do this again, but I'm going to grab some um, airport data. I'm going to pick these airport codes and delays. And I'm going to ask a really vague question, like, what is the best airport? DataWisp is going to look into it and see if it has everything that it needs. Uh, and it's going to realize that your question is pretty vague and best is really subjective. Uh, so it's going to ask you for clarification, just as a real data scientist would. Here you can see the message. Could you please clarify what you mean by best? I'm going to tell it uh, the, air, the airport with the fewest delays. Once I've given it this clarifying information, it's then going to rethink about the question. And now it starts solving the problem. So once again, DataWisp is starting to do its thing. Uh, Wispy is putting together the blocks that it needs to answer this question. And you know this can take a few seconds, but it's certainly faster than having to email someone and ask them to do this for you. So this is actually a little bit more complicated than it seems initially because there's different types of delays and DataWisp has to calculate all of them and then start adding them up. Um, but it was able to do it in the end. This only took about a minute, but I've just fast forwarded the video to save you guys some time. So we could see here that Mobile Alabama had no delays whatsoever and ends up being the best airport. Um, so this is uh, a quick preview of what Wispy can do. If you'd like to try it for yourself, just head over to datawisp.io. Uh, and check it out. We get a free trial, and uh, Wispy is included with all three DataWisp plans. Thanks so much for taking the time to check this out.